Good morning. Hey guys, it's Rick. Good to see you again. Today is a very exciting day. Tiana's Bayou Adventure has started Magic Key previews today. So we are going to try that. I didn't get the first virtual queue, but I'm going to try again at noon. They ran out in a matter of milliseconds. So you got to be really quick about it, which I was, but the luck just wasn't in my favor today. So let's try again at noon. Let's go in the parks and have some fun regardless. Now my friend Lisa Land, we're gonna meet up today, but she was able to get a virtual queue. She's group four, so she got really lucky. She texted me this morning and I told her I was not able to get it, but she was, so she's gonna help me get it at noon. Hopefully her luck rubs off on me and that way we can try to get one. I really wanna ride the ride today, but I'll be back later this week so I can try again if I don't get it today. So it's not the end of the world if we don't get it today. So there's some exciting news. The train opens on Friday, the 25th, this Friday. Look at it, it looks all fresh. You can smell like the fresh paint. It looks really nice, but yeah, that's going to be exciting. I'm really glad the railroad will be opening again because I really miss it. Soon we'll be back on that. I am in the flower market area on Main Street and I have three phones between our group here. So wish us luck. Hopefully one of us will get it. We're all connected in LinkedIn. So hopefully one of us gets the virtual queue for Tiana. So we're gonna try at noon, which is pretty soon. And then we'll grab some lunch after that. All right, we did it, but I'm so happy. We got group 11. So I'm, I am group 11, which is amazing. Very excited that we get a ride it today. Hopefully the ride's operating correctly and we get in it, but group 11's a pretty good group number. Seems like they're only doing up to 20 because I met somebody with a group of over 20. He was 23 and his group number is standby. So I think one through 20 is all they're gonna do for today. The ride is only open for six hours. So it's not a lot of time for people to ride, but I'm very, very excited. I haven't done any spoilers. so I'm super excited to go on the ride. Ooh, it's gonna be awesome. Rancho is really busy. We were gonna do Rancho del Zocalo, but it's very, very busy. We're gonna look for lunch somewhere else now. Okay, change of plans. We actually are gonna go to Rancho del Zocalo for lunch because everything's busy right now anyway. So we're just gonna wait in line. All right, we're at Rancho del Zocalo now for lunch. We got a good spot here in the shade. I got a couple of different items to try. I got the burrito Sonora, which looks really good. It's just a burrito with rice and beans and it comes with a red sauce on top. It's like a wet burrito and it looks really, really good. I haven't had this in a long time and I know I've never had it on the vlog so I'm excited for that because I am famished. I'm very very hungry so I'm excited to dig into that but first we're gonna start with dessert because my dessert is melting. Now my friend and I got the Mexican frozen hot chocolate in quotes because it's obviously not a hot chocolate it is frozen but it looks really really good. I've been hearing good things about this so I'm really excited to try this. Let's give this a sip before it melts all the way. Look at that, it's making a mess. Get extra napkins if you get this because it drips all over the cup and the whipped cream is deflating at this point. It was really pretty, it looked like the Matterhorn on top but now it is very deflated and kind of sad looking. But it's whipped cream so I know it'll taste delicious. All right, let's give it a try. That is very good. I like the fact that it does taste like hot chocolate and it tastes like Mexican hot chocolate. You definitely get the cinnamon in it. It's really, really good. I like the consistency of it a lot. It's pretty thick. It's pretty much like a milkshake, but it's served over ice, but it's really nice. I like how it all melts in and kind of thins it out a little bit. That's really delicious. Let me get a bite of just the whipped cream. Obviously it's just regular canned whipped cream, but I love whipped cream and I know it's delicious. The combination of the whipped cream with the chocolate and the cinnamon is fantastic. That's like an eight and a half, almost nine out of 10 for me. That's a really, really good dessert. I would definitely get that. Your kids are gonna love that, but adults will like it too. It's really chocolatey. I really like that one a lot. And the other thing I got is the churro loops. This is a seasonal item for right now for Halloween season. And these are not like the normal churros that you get in the park. These are looped churros. They sit in a hot tray, so hopefully they weren't sitting out for too long. And it comes with a cajeta caramel sauce. It looks really, really good. It's really really thick and really dark. And I love caramel, so I know that's gonna be delicious. So let's give that a try too. See, they're cute little loops like that. All right, I gotta get a lot of caramel on there because I love caramel. I love caramel on anything. So I know this is gonna be delicious. That's fantastic. The churro itself, 
is crispier than a normal Disney churro, and it's a little more dense in the middle too, a little more doughy in the inside. I really like it a lot. The churro is not the best part. The caramel is by far the best part. I think without the caramel, the churro would just be pretty mid. It would be pretty basic, but the caramel sauce is amazing. I could put that on anything, and it would be absolutely delicious. That's really good. We're starting off strong with two very good desserts. I would recommend either of these. I'd give the churro an eight and a half out of 10 also. Very, very good desserts though. Let's get to the food though next. Okay, so for the burrito, I got the chicken and my friend got the beef, but they actually switched them up. They gave her the chicken and they gave me the beef. So we just sliced them in half and we shared. That way we can both try a little bit of each. I like the beef a little better than the chicken. The beef has more flavor. I thought it was gonna be ground beef for some reason, like Taco Bell beef. You know, I thought it was just gonna be regular ground beef, but it's actually pretty good. It's like pretty low quality skirt steak. It does have a marinade that tastes good. I actually like the flavor of it a lot. The beef is a little bit tough. The texture is not the best, but it's flavorful enough and it's good for a theme park burrito. You get a lot of food for the price and it's still satisfying. I would get this again. I like the red sauce that's on the top. The red sauce is really nice. I like having a wet burrito. It makes it a little better than just a regular dry burrito. And I'll try the chicken as well here. The chicken's okay. It's not that flavorful. It's not really like a discernible taste. It just tastes like regular chicken, pretty plain. The beef is what I'd go for if I had to get these again, and the chicken I'd probably skip, but it's not a bad burrito. If you like chicken over beef, just go for that one. You're not gonna be disappointed. And the chips, of course, are delicious here. I love the lime on the chips. What really makes it is the salsa they give you on the side. That salsa has a huge hit of garlic, and it's delicious. It's absolutely delicious. Their salsa verde is very good here as well. They have really good salsas. That's a good thing to have in a theme park because I don't really like those bag La Victoria salsas. They're just not really that good. But yeah, this is a good lunch. I'm glad I got it. I really hope they're working out the kinks because the ride's supposed to open in less than an hour and there's a log up there but there's no water and the log is not moving so hopefully they get that fixed so they can open today. I really like the sign for the ride. I'm getting so hyped up right now just walking around the ride. It's going to be a number of hours before we're able to get on it but I'm so excited. I'm just getting really excited looking at it all. It's a really pretty sign though. I love it. The construction walls are down now. You can see the gift shop. This is Ray's Berets. This is a nice little gift shop. This replaced the briar patch that used to be here. I really like the sign though, it's adorable. Look at Ray up there, doing a good job, right? So it's 3.45 and our group already got called. They are banging through the groups today. I gotta put these in my backpack, that way they don't get wet and they are too precious to get wet. So this is Lisa's high-tech waterproofing system to waterproof the camera for Tiana's Bayou Adventure. You have to How fancy. The G Master, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all it takes is a little plastic, pixie dust, and gaff tape. Look at a red ribbon. Look at it, this is in the queue. This is so cool. It's the beignets that they're making. I love this. I love the queue so far. It's really nice. I am still laughing about Lisa's camera situation. It's just comical. <laughs> I am so excited. I am beyond excited right now. I am giddy. I cannot wait to do this. We're almost there, almost to the front. Oh no, I don't want to get wet already. Pumpkins. Look at the Mark Twain. Here's the first drop. <laughs> oh, I'm blind. We got soaked already. Oh my God. Woo. Oh my god. 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 Oh my
my god. Oh, I'm fully drenched. Oh my god, Lisa stood up. I am fully drenched. I think even my backpack got wet that time. Yikes. Here we go. We don't care. Oh my god. Why did we pause here? Oh. <laughs> That's disconcerting. No, we stopped again. <laughs> Okay, this is actually scary. <laughs> uh, we stopped again. Oh my god. Wish us luck, Mama Odie. Like, like drowned rat. <laughs> I know. I, I'm upset right now. Oh no! Oh my god! My entire body is soaking wet. My whole body is completely wet. My shoes are waterlogged. I did not expect to get that wet. That was gnarly. That was really, really gnarly. Oh my god! Oh man. Okay, so I was fully expecting to get wet, but I am drenched. My entire shirt is drenched, my shorts, I am soaked to the bone. I didn't expect to get that wet. That was really surprising. And it dumped buckets of water on her lap. So even my backpack got wet, my shoes are completely soaked. Big mistake, I usually have a backup pair of shoes in my car, and I'm planning to come tomorrow to the parks, and I don't have a backup pair of shoes. So I'm really hoping my shoes dry overnight. I'm gonna have to use the hair dryer because I'm staying at a hotel tonight. I'm not going back home. So I'm gonna have to use the hair dryer and hope dry out my shoes because this is not gonna work for tomorrow this will not be comfortable but my pants everything is completely soaked through I really didn't expect that it was a very very fun ride it was kind of hard looking left and right and left and right and it was a lot darker than Splash Mountain was it was kind of hard to see the details and see where you were in the ride itself I had the layout of Splash Mountain really well mapped in my head but the layout of this was harder to tell where you were at because it was so dark in areas I loved it though I absolutely Absolutely loved it. Highly recommend the ride. I think it's a great change, a great update. I love Princess and the Frog, so I think having Tiana in it is really fun. The music is fantastic. It's just a great ride. I want to try to ride it again tomorrow. I'm going to try to ride it again and not film. That way I can really take it all in. But we did not expect to get so wet. Lisa was sitting in front of me and she had to stand up at one point because the buckets of water were coming over the edge. It was gnarly. Like we are just drenched right now. You could wring out our clothes and fill up a cup each. It's pretty intense, but it was so much fun. It was so worth it. It is going to get chilly tonight, but I did bring a safety sweater as Lisa calls it. I do have a safety sweater in the locker, so I'm going to put on my sweater and that way I will be dry. I'll probably just take off my shirt completely because it is very wet, but I'm just going to have to be a soggy bottom boy. My pants are going to be wet. My shoes are going to be wet. I'll still have fun, but wow. Wow, that was an incredible experience. More than I hoped for. It was really, really awesome. You guys gotta do that ride. They are evacuating the ride. They had to evacuate it. So we got really lucky. Pretty much right after we came off, the ride broke down and everybody had to get off the ride and walk off. So what a bummer for them. We got super, super lucky. I'm grateful that the luck was in our favor today. All right, my friends and I came to Tiana's palace for dinner tonight. I feel like it was kind of obligatory. I mean, we rode her ride, so we got to eat at her restaurant, right? Just a must do, I think, at this point. The ride was really fun though. I'm really glad we got to do that. I have not tried this before, actually. 
really. I've had the gumbo at Blue Bayou and I've had the gumbo at Cafe Orleans, but I've never had the gumbo here at Tiana's. And I think it's gonna be good. It smells really good. It has a very small scoop of rice. I wish there was a little more rice in it, but it's got shredded chicken and it's got andouille sausage and it's just a house gumbo. It's around 17 bucks. Not a very large portion though for the price, but it smells really good. So I'm looking forward to it. Let's give it a try and see how it is. And my friend Lisa got a couple of other things. I might try a bite of the strawberry beignets. I'll show you guys what that looks like and see how that is. And she also got the cornbread, which I'm curious about. I'll try that and let you know too. Okay, got a nice bite with chicken and a little bit of rice there. Let's try that out. It's really not bad. It's pretty good gumbo, but I like the gumbo at Cafe Orleans and Blue Bayou a lot better. It doesn't have a very strong flavor, but it does have a nice salty, savory taste to it. I do like that. Let me try the andouille sausage. I love andouille sausage, so I think that's gonna be really good. The sausage is really good and it has a nice kick. It's actually pretty spicy, I like that. But you only get four very small slices of sausage, so it's really not a lot. I wish there was more of that and less of the chicken. It's overall a pretty good dish. I'd probably rate it like a seven and a half out of 10. It's not my favorite thing. The flavor could be a little bit deeper. I think they needed to uh, make more of a darker roux for this and a little more seasoning, a little more Cajun seasoning. Like I said, the one at Cafe Orleans is very good. I would pick that one over this one, but this is still a good bowl of gumbo. You're not gonna be disappointed overall. So the strawberry beignet was really good actually. I really like that. My friends like it too. It's really good. It's one of the best things at Tiana's right now. It's definitely better than the lemon box beignet, but I also like the cornbread. I had a bite of my friend's cornbread and it was pretty darn good. It was pretty moist, not as dry. Sometimes you get cornbread that's a little dry and it was not as dry as I thought it would be. It was good. I'd get both of those again. The gumbo, I don't know. I'd, I'd probably just go to Cafe Orleans for the gumbo next time, but this gumbo wasn't bad. It definitely hit the spot. I was hungry and it's nice comfort food when you're all wet. It was just a nice meal. Thank you guys for coming along with me today. I had so much fun. This was one of the best Disney days in a long time. Every Disney day is a good one, but some are just exceptionally good, you know? Today was one of those exceptionally good days. I just had a great time today. The only complaints I had about the ride were the audio sync issues we had. Some of the audio was just out of sync, and you know, they're still doing previews, it's still in testing, so they can't get it perfect but it was a little confusing and hard to follow the storyline because we weren't hearing things from the beginning. We were kind of hearing things in like the middle of a conversation and stuff. And other than that, the ride was very, very dark. I wish there was a little bit more lighting in the ride, but it was phenomenal. It was still a really, really fun ride. I'm glad we have that ride back. I love the drop. It's very exhilarating. I am soaked to the bone still, but it was worth it. I'm gonna go back to my hotel now because my shoes are soggy, my shorts are soggy, but I had a really good day with my friends and it was just a lot of fun, really, really fun day. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you guys could give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you like the content. Thank you guys and I hope you take care. I'll see you next time.